Somebody that you encounter who's in need is your neighbor. Being manly is being like Jesus. You think Jesus was not more manly than David? David calls Jesus his Lord. You think Samson was more manly than Jesus? Jesus was where God, Samson got his power. What about Peter? When Peter cut off the ear of the, of the priest's guard, his name was Malchus, what did, what did Jesus say to Peter? Don't you know I could call down 10,000 legions of angels? And I could destroy... Do you know what a legion of angels could do? One angel in the book of Chronicles came against the, the Assyrian army under Sennacherib and took out 185,000 Assyrian soldiers in a night. The angel of the Lord swept through the camp, killed 185,000 of them in one night, over and done. Jesus could call 10,000 legions of angels. What could have stood up against that? Jesus was more manly than all of those guys put together. I want to leave you with a passage from Micah. Micah is one of the minor prophets. Let's see if I can find him. Last thing here, Micah 6, 8. He has shown you, oh man, what is good. You want to be a man? You want to be a manly man? Then listen to what the Spirit of God says is good. <clears throat> what is good? He has shown you, oh man. And what does the Lord require of you? Three things. Do justice. Love mercy. Walk humbly with your God. Three things the Lord requires of you to be a man. Do justice. Love mercy. Walk humbly before our God. Most of the people that we see in television and media, they're not doing that right now. Most people are anything but humble. That's how they get famous. They don't care at all for mercy. They want to squash their opponents. They want to make them look horrible so that they look better. And they don't care at all about justice because they cheat any opportunity that they get. That is the opposite of what it is to be a man. In Micah, the Spirit of the Lord says, what is required of you, O man? Do justice. Love mercy. Walk humbly before the Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this time. Lord, we ask you to come into our hearts and give us the grace to live up to your standard. Lord, we know that it's way easier to be an Ehud, a guy who straps on a knife and goes and kills somebody. We know it's easier to be a David or any of these other warriors or any of these other people who have set the standard for manhood. It's way easier to be them than to fight against evil, than to fight against oppression, to fight against outrage. So Lord, we ask you to come into our hearts and set our hearts to be men of God so that we actually can do justice. We can love mercy and we can walk humbly before the Lord. Lord, give us the spirit of justice. Give us a spirit of mercy. And Lord, give us a spirit of humility that we can be the men of God that you've called us to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.